I'm Barry Bogage. I'm the Executive Director of the Maryland Israel Development Center. My career has always been in economic development. I've uh, always wanted to help people and felt that creating jobs was the best way to help people. So right out of college, I actually started the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation in an entry-level position. Glenn Denning, Paris Glenn Denning was the county executive at the time, happened to be my advisor at the University of Maryland. So that I uh, got that job. And then from there, moved to Howard County and eventually got promoted to be the director of the Howard County Economic Development Office. And then from there, went over to the Welsh Development Agency, which was to help uh, attract American companies to set up facilities in Wales which was a fun opportunity for me to get involved internationally. So I uh, would travel to Wales a couple times a year and so forth. And then Governor Schaefer had signed a declaration of cooperation with the Israeli ambassador in 1988. And a friend of mine was the director of international trade for the state of Maryland and was heavily involved in that and involved me because he knew of my interest. I was an exchange student in Israel uh, during college and lived on a kibbutz for a couple of years right after college and so forth. So he knew my interest in Israel, knew my interest in, in economic development, in Maryland economic development. So he involved me in a lot of just kind of the public functions, the signing ceremony, just invited me to participate. But at that time, I kind of eyeballed and I said, if there's a job that's coming out of this, it's mine. And I tracked it for several years. And when they finally raised the money and incorporated as a nonprofit, decided to hire somebody, I was the lucky guy who, who got the job. The context back then, so the Soviet Union was falling apart. Um, that was one major you know, thing happening internationally. Uh, and Governor Schaefer at the time, unrelated to that, but Governor Schaefer was making a big push for expanding Maryland's international trade activities. And he was signing, being next to Washington, D.C., he thought, let's cultivate relationship with the embassies, and that'll help us attract new companies. Uh, work with the commercial attaches and get a direct line into the companies. So uh, in cooperation with uh, the Jewish community at the time, some um, business executives in the Jewish community, namely um, Marvin Shapiro from Continental Realty and Hannon Seibel, uh, who had a food brokerage firm, uh, Roger Lippitz, who was heavily involved. Uh, he was in the nursing home business. When the Soviet Union fell apart, there was mass immigration of the Russian Jewish community to Israel, which sent the unemployment rate in Israel skyrocketing in like 25%. So they were, we're in business, we know how to create jobs, let's set up a program to help Israel create jobs. They talked to Governor Schaefer about it, since he was getting so active in international trade, they said this would be good for Maryland too, kind of like a rising tide lifts all ships, you know, no two companies are going to sign a deal unless it's good for both of them. And so that's how it got started. They, uh, and they involved the Associated, the Associated Jewish Federation of Baltimore, and set up kind of a three organizational structure of, of founding partners with the Associated Jewish Federation, uh, the Maryland Department of Economic Development at the time, now the Department of Commerce, and their counterpart in Israel, which is the Ministry of Industry and Trade. So, they all got together. Governor Schaefer took a trade mission to Israel. The outcome of that was let's establish an organization to actually put the deals together. And um, that's when the MIDC formally got started rather than just the volunteers. And that's when they hired me.